Welcome, friends. We will continue our journey, the equity research. In stage one, we dealt with understanding the business. In stage two, we dealt with understanding the performance of the business. In stage three, today we'll understand valuation. Today we'll deal with valuation part. So how a business can be evaluated? Before going or deep diving into that, let us understand present value, future value, and how it can be interlinked and we can understand business value. If a business presently is X rupees, what will be its future? after five years or two years or if business is that much in future what will be value today so we will try to understand and jot down connect the dot and try to understand valuation of a business so let us start sharing how we can calculate this so first let us see future value, how we can calculate. Suppose we have 5,000 today and we are getting opportunity cost or opportunity rate of 8.5%. So what will be value after five year? Simply this, for that, will put formula equal to present value as of now is 5000 multiply 1 1 1 plus rate 8.5% packet and time is 5 So 7518.28, that will be future value of the things. If same reverse way, if we try to calculate present value of the same, how we can calculate? This is the future value, this divided equal to this divided same we will put one plus opportunity and five year we get five thousand so it's both way calculation possible let us see if future value is 10,000. So what will be the value of today? Let us suppose it is six year, not five year. So the present value will be 6,129.45. This will, after six years, will become 10,000. Now, let us understand and deep dive how we can calculate or jot down these two figures. Suppose one guy for Ramesh is selling coffee and he was so much interested so he created a one machine 
which is given automatically or provided automatically for free. Only thing he has to put ingredients, connect with power on and he will get. And he is expecting, suppose 10 lakh per year revenue and machine is expected to run for the next 10 years. That means every year machine will give revenue of 10 lakh up to 10 years. So total will be 1 crore. If she wants to sell or if I want to purchase that machine, so how much I should pay so that I will be in profit for that future value. 10, 10 lakh per year. So what will be present value for all those amounts? Let us calculate one. Now we'll put the formula. This 10 lakh divided 1 plus 8.5 percent. And this is first after first years. So we'll do one So we get present value of all this 10 lakh by putting this formula. So how much will be total? 65 lakh 61,348 for all this. So if we are purchasing that very machine, same 65,061, or below that, then it will be good deal, otherwise it will not be. So we are able to calculate the present value, how much maximum we can pay so that we will be break even. If we are getting less than 65,000, then we will be in profitable condition. So like that, we can be able to evaluate any business ki how much that very business can generate and based on that we can calculate present value and then we can have their expected returns for four a year or five year or some as for this uh, further details we will see in next video and then from there we can get net present value and Based on that, we can evaluate and have our decision whether we should go with purchasing that very business or no. So in this part, we understand present value, how to calculate future value and how we can calculate net present value if there is a continuous stream of future cash flows. Here for our convenience we have kept 10 lakh each year this can be varied and accordingly tangent value will be different 
even if same, we can see this present value different. So like that, we can calculate present value for each year and then can be clear cut decision that this much will be present value of all these accumulated years. And then we can reach to some decision. Thank you. Bye-bye.